What's up, Video 4 Nation? I'm Magic Bar, and for today, I'm going to show you guys how to get pulled through into a new dimension, a new world, whatever it is, through a piece of paper, through a TV, um, whatever your creative minds think of. There's a lot of different things you can use this effect on, so have fun with it. But before we get started, I want to give a couple of shout outs to Joey Prescott and That Mulatto from Colorado. Uh, funny name. <laughs> Appreciate the love, guys. Thanks a lot. And with that being said, if you're new to Video Ford, hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon right next to it so that way you'll be notified every time we post a new tutorial every single week. So now, let's jump into this tutorial. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna run through this effect really quickly, show you guys in a series of steps how to do this. Um, because if I do a step for step, or step by step, um, click for click tutorial, this will take a long time. So I'll break it down step by step. Um, this is fairly advanced. You gotta know After Effects. You should know the basics to be able to go through this one. So let's check it out and see what we can do. So first things first, you guys are obviously gonna need to shoot these two clips. So the shot of you picking up the piece of paper or whatever it is that you want your other shot to be in. And step number one, what we're going to do is line up the clips. So I'll kind of show you here how I lined it up. I just made a guess of where I want my hand to um, grab the girl's hand, right? So just about here. And I did that just by pressing T, dropping the opacity to 50% and just kind of gauging about where I want that hand grab and just make sure that when you grab the other person's hand that it's inside of the paper or box or TV or whatever you end up using so you can really create be be creative with this one um, you don't have to use a piece of paper like I did um, you can use a TV or whatever and really make something cool with that so step number one line up your clips. Step number two is where you're going to start your tracking. So the very first track, um, go into your tracker controls, hit track motion and track the position, rotation and scale. So that way you can get as much data as possible. And when I did that, I basically just tracked these two points okay so if you have a piece of paper try to get some tracking dots on that paper um, if you have a TV put up some pieces of tape on that track it so you have a nice null object that is nicely tracked onto that and then what you're going to do is connect your layer that's going to be inside of that to the null okay so you can see that I parented it to the null just like that by taking the pick whip tool and then just create a mask so that it fits on the paper and then you guys will be good with step two you know be be patient with this one um, keyframe the mask just to make sure that it's always on there right and uh, you'll be good with that so so I'll just call this one step two and step three so step four is you're going to duplicate that SAM layer, okay, the layer that's going to be inside of the paper, duplicate that and then rotoscope your hand or the hand. So let's kind of check that one out. So here's my duplicated layer, this orange one. Um, and when we go through the steps, basically the purple are the layers that we went through on the previous steps, and then the orange will be our new thing that we have to do. So once you have your um, duplicated layer, you will rotoscope your hand out. As you can see, I did right here just by using the pen tool. You can also rotoscope your hand out by using the roto brush tool. Okay, um, I like to be incredibly precise with my rotoscope, so that is why I used the pen tool. And a little trick that you guys can check out is when you're doing this rotoscope, Everything inside of the box, you don't have to be exactly precise because you already have that ad mask on there. So it's really all the stuff outside of the box. 
And once you do that, you know, this is really the part that will take the longest out of this whole tutorial. So just, you know, be patient with this one and um, be as detailed as possible because this is what will create the trick and make it look really good. So step four, rotoscope the handout. Step number five, we're going to create the pull transition right here, okay? And it's gonna be a mixture of a mask transition and zooming by zooming into the original clip and of course our um, layer that's on the paper. And then also we're going to add an effect called optics compensation, which you guys know is one of my favorite effects based off of all the other tutorials on video for it. Um, so let's check that out. So towards the end, okay, let me just zoom out here. You can see what I did here with the optics compensation as we start to zoom out, okay? Or zoom in, I should say. So this transition, what's gonna happen is I have a few things going on. So I have the mask expansion, okay? And it expands, you can see it expanding right here. And that is part of the transition for the layer that is on the paper. Okay, I call that the SAM layer. So we're going to use that mask expansion to expand it out. The next part, what you want to do is on your original clip, you're going to use a scale keyframe and you're going to scale up. So I'm at 100% here and then I scale up to 300%, okay? And I kind of just roughly guessed and looked at that to bring my thumb close to the edge on that zoom, as you can see, okay? And then what I did was I added an optics compensation effect and I keyframed the field of view. Just make sure that you reverse lens distort it. Um, so that way you can do the field of view from a zero all the way to 100. And that's what will create this sort of zoomed out look right here on the edges of the video. And then you're going to snap it back into place, okay? Now, let me show you how I did that up here since this is the one we're zooming into. So I'll close this guy right here. And then come up here and let me close down this mask because I just showed you that. Now the field of view on this one, okay, I also added an optics compensation as you can see to this SAM layer as well. So start it off at zero and then go up to 100 and then snap it back to zero, okay? And that will help create this transition and little snap look of you going into this new world, right? That'll be the end of step five. For step six, very simple. Just make sure you add the motion blur and then click this little motion blur activation button. So that way this whole timeline is blurred out with any type of motion. Um, this will definitely slow down your render time, but adds some creativity to the composition and really makes it look a little better. And then for a little last step number seven, um, adding that thumb in there, right? So anything that is in front of the layer that you end up zooming into at the end, um, add a mask. So all I did here was I created a track mat, right? So if you've seen my other tutorials, um, especially the movie magic trick tutorials, I use track mats a lot and very simply, I just made a red solid, tracked it to my thumb. Okay, so I went into the tracker controls, tracked the motion of my thumb, just the position, I didn't do rotation scale, and added a null object, connected that tracking data to the null, connected my red solid to that null, and then added a alpha mat track mat to that red solid. So that way I have this thumb right in the shot and it looks pretty good for as quickly as we did this that is the whole effect 
And that is how you create a nice little zoom transition into a new world by going through a piece of paper or a TV or whatever type of creative idea that you guys end up coming up with. I'm very excited to see what you guys end up doing and tagging us on Instagram so I could check it out at video for it. All right, guys, that's it. All right, guys, I hope that tutorial helped you out. And if it did, please leave us a like and let us know in the comment section if there's any type of visual effects you guys would like to learn, know more about, or are curious about any type of filmmaking video tips we can hopefully help you with. But for now, this is Video Fort on Magic Bard, and I'll see you guys on the next one.